Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In thy name, O Lord God of truth, in the name of the only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit, I lay my hand upon these thy servants who have been found worthy to flee to thy holy name and to be protected under the shelter of thy wings. Remove far from them that delusion from of old and fill them in faith and thee and hope and love that they may know that thou art the only God, the true God and the only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Grant them to walk in all thy commandments to observe all things which are pleasing unto thee. For if a man doeth these things, he shall live by them, inscribe them in the book of life, unite them in the flock of thine inheritance, and let thy holy name and that of the beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the life-creating Spirit, be glorified in them. Let thine eyes ever stand watchful over them with mercy, and let thine ears hear the voice of their supplication. Make them to rejoice in all the works of their hands and in all their posterity, that they may give thanks unto thee, worship and pray, and glorify them, pray to the exalted name, and praise thee always all the days of their life. All the powers of heaven praise thee, and in thine is the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now endeavoring into ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, mercy. The Lord who came into the world, who dwelt among men, rebukes thee, O devil, that he might bring down thy tyranny and raise up mankind. He who upon the tree triumphed over the adversarial powers when the sun had been darkened, the earth was being shaken, the graves were being opened, and the bodies of the saints were rising. He who dissolved death by death and made powerless him, who had the power of death, that is thee, the devil. I adjure thee by God, who showed forth the tree of life, and who posted the cherubim as a flaming sword, turning to and fro to guard it. Be rebuked and depart, I adjure thee by the one who walketh upon the surface as the sea is upon dry land, and who rebuked the storms of the winds, at whose glance drieth up the depths, and whose threatening melteth the mountains. For he himself commanded even now through us, Afraid, come out and withdraw from these creatures, and do not return, neither to hide thyself within them, neither meet them, nor work within them, either by night or by day, either by any hour or noonday. But go off into thine own abode of punishment until the great day of judgment prepared. Fear God, who sitteth upon the cherubim, who looketh upon the depths, before whom trembleth angels and archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, the many eyed cherubim, six winged seraphim, before whom heaven and earth and all the sea tremble, and all that is within them. Come out and depart from the sealed, newly enlisted soldier of Christ our God. I adjure thee by him who walketh upon the waters, upon the winds, who maketh his angels, his spirits, and his ministers of flame and fire. Come out and depart from these, thy creatures, with all thy power and thy intended angels. For glorified is the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. fearful and glorious, who is incomprehensible in all his works and might, is unsearchable, who himself, having preordained to thee the devil the penalty of eternal punishment, commandeth thee through thine all attendant power through us, his useless servants, to depart from this newly sealed by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our God. I adjure thee, therefore, the most wicked and unclean and vile and abominable and alien spirits, by the power of Jesus Christ, who had all authority in heaven and earth, who said unto the deaf and dumb demon, come out from this man and enter no longer into him. Depart, recognize thy vain power, which did not have even authority over swine. Remember him who ordered thee at thy request to enter the herd of swine. Fear God, by whose ordinance the earth was established in the midst of the waters, who created the sky and weighed the mountains in a scale for the valleys and the bounds, who placed the sand as a bound for the sea in a safe place through the raging of water, who touches the mountains and they smoke, who clothes himself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens as a royal curtain, who supporteth the chambers and the waters who established the earth so secure that it shall not be shaken forever and ever, who calleth the water of the sea and poureth it out upon the face of all the earth. Come forth and depart from those who are preparing themselves for holy illumination. <clears throat> I adjure thee by the saving passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, by his precious body and blood, and by his fearful second coming. For he shall come without delay to judge all the earth, and, the, and with thee thine intended power shall he punish in the Gehenna of fire, having delivered thee over into the outer darkness where the worm sleepeth not, and the fire is not quenched. For the might is of Christ our God with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and ever and into ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord of Sabio, the God of Israel, who heals every illness and every infirmity, go ahead and wash that. Look upon thy servants, search out 
from them, rebuke, examine them, expel from them all the workings of the devil, rebuke the unclean spirits and chase them, and cleanse the works of thy hands, and employ in thy keen energy, crush down Satan under their feet speedily, and grant unto them victories over the devil and over unclean spirits, that having obtained mercy from thee, they may be made worthy to partake of thine immortal and heavenly mysteries, and may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into ages of ages. It's okay if she holds it for a little bit. Okay. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Master, he who is, thou hast created man in thy own image and likeness, and given him the power of life everlasting. As soon as he fell away through the sin, thou dost not forsake him, but thou hast brought about the salvation of the world through the incarnation of thy Christ. Do thou thyself redeem also these thy creatures from the bondage of the enemy, and receive them into the heavenly kingdom. Open the eyes of the minds that they, the illumination of thy holy gospel, that they may shine brightly in them, yoke unto their life luminous angels who shall deliver them from every plot of the adversary, from encounter of evil, and from the demon of noonday and every evil operation. Expel from them every evil and clean spirit with light and hidden and lurketh in his heart. Amen. Expel from her every evil and clean spirit with light hidden and lurketh in her heart. Amen. Clean spirit with like hidden and lurketh in her heart. Amen. Expel from him every evil and unclean spirit with like hidden and lurketh in his heart. Amen. Expel from him every evil and unclean spirit with like hidden and lurketh in his heart. Amen. Expel from him every evil and unclean spirit with like hidden and lurketh in his heart. Amen. Expel from him every evil and unclean spirit with like hidden and lurketh in his heart. Amen. spirit of deception, the spirit of evil, the spirit of idolatry and all greed, the spirit of falsehood and of all uncleanliness was operating through the prompting of the devil and make them reason thou sheep in the holy flock of thy Christ, honorable members of thy church, consecrated vessels, children of the light, heirs of thy heavenly kingdom, that having led their life in accordance with thy commandments, preserved the baptismal seal unbroken and kept their garments unstained, they may receive the blessedness of the saints in thy heavenly kingdom. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Does thou renounce Satan and all his angels and all his works and all his service and all his pomp? I do. Does thou renounce Satan and all his angels and all his works and all his service and all his pomp? I do. Does thou renounce Satan and all his angels and all his works and all his service and all his pomp? I do. Has thou renounced Satan? I have. Has thou renounced Satan? I have. Has thou renounced Satan? I have. Now we outside we make a gesture of spitting on the devil. Breathe and spit on him. Does thou unite thyself unto Christ? Sorry. Does thou commit thyself unto Christ? I do. Does thou commit thyself unto Christ? I do. I do. Does thou commit thyself unto Christ? I do. Has thou committed thyself unto Christ? I have. Has thou committed thyself unto Christ? I have. Has thou committed thyself unto Christ? I have. Does thou believe in him and say this together? I believe in him as King and God. And lead us together in the creed. I believe in one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, Son of God, the only begotten, begotten, begotten the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God, very God, begotten not made, of oneness with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and, and suffered on his burial, and the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end, and not even the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified.
who spake by the prophets, and I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Has thou committed thyself unto Christ? I have. Has thou committed thyself unto Christ? I have. Has thou committed thyself unto Christ? I have. Bow down also before him and say this together. I bow down. I bow down. Bow down. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and inseparable. Blessed is God, who willeth that all men should be saved, and should come to the knowledge of the truth now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. It's for James and Arthur. O Master, Lord our God, call thy servant Lily Linda Marie, Christopher James, Arthur Antipas, into thy holy illumination and count them worthy of this great grace of thy holy baptism. Disrobe them of all that is old and renew them into life everlasting and fill them with the power of thy Holy Spirit and to the union with thy Christ that they may be no more children of the body but children of thy heavenly kingdom. Through the good will and the grace of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed together, thine all holy good and life giving spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Christ God is When the Lord was baptized in the Jordan, worship of the Trinity was made manifest. For the voice of the Father bore witness to thee, calling thee his beloved Son. And the Spirit in the likeness of a dove confirmed the truth of His word. Oh, Christ, God, who has appeared and enlightened the world, glory to Jordan, worship of the Trinity was made manifest, for the voice of the Father bore witness to thee, calling thee his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the likeness of a dove confirm the truth of his word. O Christ our God, who has appeared and enlightened the world, glory to Bless Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. 
in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above with the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good of stay, the holy churches of God, for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, with those with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father, Metropolitan Joseph, the, Den the, the Honorable Priest of the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That this water may be sanctified with the power and energy and visitation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord of mercy. that there may be sent down into the grace of redemption the blessing of Jordan. Let us pray to the Lord of mercy. that the purifying energy of the supersubstantial trinity may descend upon these waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of that we may be illumined by the light of the knowledge and the piety by the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That this water may be a preventive against every plot of enemies, both visible and invisible. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That they who are baptized therein may be made worthy of the kingdom incorruptible. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. that they who are now coming unto the holy illumination for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord, that they may be made sons and daughters of light and an heir of eternal good things. Let us pray to the Lord. That they may be born into the communicant of the death and the resurrection of Christ our God. Let us pray to the Lord. That they may preserve the vestment of their baptism and the pledge of the Spirit pure and undefiled. Unto the fearful day of Christ our God, let us pray to the Lord. That this water may be to bear a washing of the regeneration unto the forgiveness of sins and a garment of incorruption, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That the Lord God will hearken unto the voice of our petition, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That they all, that they and all of us may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance all holy, immaculate, most, most blessed holy, and glorious, Lady Theotokos, and, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and no word shall be sufficient to him I wonder. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and no word shall be sufficient to him thy wonders. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and no word shall be sufficient to him thy wonders. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Thou then will has brought into being all things which before were not and by thy might thou upholdest creation 
By thy providence thou governest the world, thou hast compounded the whole creation out of four elements. Thou hast crowned the cycle of the year with four seasons. All the noetic powers tremble before thee. The sun praises thee. The moon glorifieth thee. The stars supplicate before thee. The light obeyeth thee. The depths shudder at thy presence. The water springs serve thee. Thou didst spread out the heavens like a tent. Thou didst establish the earth upon the waters. With sand thou didst surround the sea. Thou didst pour forth the air for breathing. The angelic powers liturgize before thee. The choirs of archangels worship thee. The many-eyed cherubim and six-winged seraphim, as they stand round about and fly, cover themselves in fear before thy unapproachable glory. For thou who art God, uncircumscribable, beginningless, and ineffable, who didst come upon the earth and didst take upon the form of a servant, who didst appear in the likeness of a man. For thou couldst not endure, O Master, because of thy tender mercy to behold the human race being tyrannized by the devil. For thou didst come and save us. We confess thy grace. We proclaim thy mercy. We conceal thy, not thy beneficence. Thou hast set free the offspring of our nature. By thy birth thou didst sanctify the virgin's womb. All creation praises thee who hast revealed thyself. For thou art God and didst appear on the earth and dwelt among men. Thou didst sanctify the streams of the river Jordan. By sending down thy Holy Spirit, thou didst crush the heads of the serpents who lurked there. Wherefore, O King, who lovest mankind, be present now through the visitation of thy Holy Spirit, and sanctify this water. Amen. Therefore, O King, who lovest mankind, be present now through the visitation of thy Holy Spirit, and sanctify this water. Amen. Wherefore, O King, Lovest mankind, be present now through the visitation of thy Holy Spirit and sanctify this water. Amen. And give unto it the grace of redemption, the blessing of the river Jordan. Make it a fountain of incorruption, a gift of sanctification, a loosing from sins, a remedy of infirmity, a destruction of demons unapproachable by hostile powers filled with angelic might. Let those who would plot against thy creature flee far from it, for I have called upon thy name, O Lord, wonderful and glorious and fearful unto adversaries. Let all adverse powers be crushed under the tracing of the sign of thy precious and life-giving cross. Amen. Let all adverse powers be crushed under the tracing of the sign of the precious and life-giving cross. Amen. Let all adverse powers be crushed under the tracing of the sign of thy precious and life-giving cross. Amen. Let every aerial and unseen phantom withdraw itself from us, and let no demon of darkness conceal himself in this water. We pray thee, O Lord, let no evil spirit which instilleth darkening of thoughts or disturbances of mind, descend into it with those who are about to be baptized. But do thou, Master of all, show this water to be the water of redemption, the water of sanctification, the cleansing of flesh and spirit, the loosening of bonds, the forgiveness of sins, the illumination of the soul, a washing of regeneration, a renewal of the spirit, a gift of adoption, a garment of incorruption, a fountain of life. For thou hast said, O Lord, wash ye, and be ye clean, put away evil things from your souls. Do thou bestow upon us through the rebirth from above, through the water and the spirit. Be manifest, O Lord, in this, and grant that those who are baptized therein may be transformed to the putting away of the old man, which is being corrupted through the deceitful desires, and the clothing upon of the new man, which is being and clothing upon the new man which is being renewed according to the image of him who created him. 
that planted together with the likeness of thy death through baptism, they may become communicants of thy holy resurrection, having kept intact the gift of the Holy Spirit, and having increased the measure of grace entrusted unto them. They may receive the prize of their high calling and be numbered with the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven in thee, our God and our Lord Jesus Christ. For unto thee, O do all glory, honor, and majesty, and worship together with thine original Father, now holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Okay, we'll go ahead and undress her all except for the diaper, and then keep her wrapped up in a towel. Okay. All right. So as we have done the exorcisms upon those about to be illumined and we've done it upon the water, now we do the final upon the oil that we're going to be using to now anoint the, the water and then finally to anoint those who are about to be uh, baptized. This was done in the ancient times for those who were about any of the athletes who competed in ancient times. If you know anything about the Roman, Greco-Roman uh, games, they went into the arena without any clothes on, right? They were oiled down. Oil was put on so it would make it very hard for the other person to get a hold of them. They are also oiled down to, to shine like the sun, that they would be uh, blazoned in glory in that sense. So, so this is harkening back to that ancient practice of our Lord's incarnation taking place during that Roman Empire and adopting this ancient practice. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Bow your heads unto the Lord. To thee, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. In the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. O Master, Lord, our God the God of our fathers, who unto them that were in the ark of Noah did send thy dove, bearing in its beak a twig of the olive, the symbol of reconciliation, the salvation from the flood, who didst prefigure through these signs the mystery of grace, who didst provide the fruit of the olive for the fulfilling of thy holy mysteries, who thereby didst fill with thy Holy Spirit them that were under the law, and perfectest them that are under grace. Do thou bless also this holy oil, with the power and the energy and the visitation of thy Holy Spirit, that it may be a chrism of incorruption, an armor of righteousness, a renewal of the soul and body, preventative against every diabolical energy, a turning away from evils of those who are anointed with it in faith, who are partakers of it. And to thy glory and that of the only begotten Son, and all holy good and life giving Spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us attend. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us attend. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us attend. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Okay, let's bring Lily here. Lily Linda Marie? Mary. Lily Linda. Okay. Serve to God. Lily Linda Mary is anointed with the oil of gladness. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Speak forth the words of the Lord. To look upon faith. Hearing unto faith. Sweet. Healing of soul and body. Where is the to come after deny himself? Take up his cross and follow me. The hands have made me and fashioned me. To walk on the ways of the Lord. To walk on scorpions, serpents, and all the powers of the evil one. Okay, you can bind him. Okay, I'm going to have you guys come around here. Okay. Arthur, let's go ahead and slip off your shoes. And I'll have you take off your cross. I'll just put the end of glasses here. You leave your guys' glasses here. Sorry. Serve the God, Arthur Antipas, is anointed for the oil of gladness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To speak forth in faith for sweet fragrance. Look upon 
Reports of the Lord, the hearing unto faith, for the healing of soul and body. Whosoever wishes to come after me, deny himself, take his cross and follow me. The walk in the way thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Okay, I need to get down here. Here, okay. stand up, stand up. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Go ahead and stay right here. You're fine, you're fine. Go ahead and just face me. To walk in the ways of the Lord. Amen. To walk on scorpions, serpents, and all the power of the evil one. Okay, okay, step right aside here. Okay, Christopher. Servant of God, Christopher. James is anointed with the oil of gladness in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hearing unto faith to be able to look on the courts of the Lord for sweet praises speaking forth of faith The healing of soul and body. Who wishes to come after me? I himself take up his cross and follow me. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. To walk in the ways of the Lord. To walk on scorpions, serpents, and all the powers of the evil one. Okay, I think I'm going to take you guys. Let me start off with Christopher first, okay? All right, do we have the towel ready for him? And then I need some more of the towels, Bill. And when he comes out, we'll wrap around him. I don't think I need this. Uh, yeah. But we need one for him to wrap one into. Okay, so you guys know what to do. You're going to put this on the bench. So when you guys go down, you're going to do a full prostration. Get down on your knee, and then I have you east. And, and when I push down, you want to do like a full prostration like you're touching their head. Good. Yeah, it's good. It's a little tricky because of the rope. I build a slip. So go ahead and get on your knees right here, back here. Yeah, we just said, I'll, I'll help you. Too. What's that? It's okay. So, um... One thing I do want to get is if anybody wants to take some photos of him on this side here, they're welcome to do so. Over here, if there's some taking photos. Okay. Okay. Put back, uh, hunch back on your knees. Servant of God, Christopher James is baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. that around you and then grab another towel for around his waist put this on, on the top okay put this around your waist if you can put one at the at the floor here and then you can stand on one of them yeah just wait right here you can wait right there because we won't watch author arthur's path author's path Let's get it. Same way he did. Okay, sit right down now. On your knees and then hunch back on your back. Very good. Okay. Arthur Antipas is baptized in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Easy one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, 
So let's see. She, she should be the one to receive because girl into girl. Okay. Okay. Lily, Linda, Mary. Lily, Linda, Mary. Trying to, no, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see which is better for the photographs for you guys to see. I can do it facing this way, but I'm going to do this way. So. Okay. Oh, sweet pea. All right. It's okay, sweet pea. <laughs> Servant of God, Lily, Linda Mary is baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good job, Good job, dear. Okay, you guys can go ahead and get changed. Go ahead and get changed. But, um, oh wait, we have to do a chrismation. Sorry, I forgot. We have to do a chrismation. So, so not yet. Santa or wet? Okay, we're gonna do the chrismation now. Give her, if you need her binky. No, I'm all right. So just give them another top of them to stand on here. I guess a good a good change. Do you, do you, are you are, Do you have a shirt that's open enough to the, the collar in the back here? Oh, that's okay. No, I'm t this is a shirt here. It's a collar shirt. Oh yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's bless them with this and get this crispers. Okay, we're gonna do it. Here. No, no, we don't do that. Servant of God, Christopher James, is clothed with the garment of righteousness in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Servant of God, Arthur Antipas, is clothed with the garment of righteousness in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Sorry. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lily's clothes. clothes. That's okay. Lily, Linda, Mary, in the garment of righteous the name of the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Vouchsafe unto me a robe of light, okay, O oh, thou who clothest thyself with light as, as with a garment. Yeah. O oh, Christ our yeah. God, plenteous in uh, mercy. Love you. Love you. So please be seated and I'll explain a little bit more while we're waiting. You know, I have to admit to you, I would do a funeral ten times over than doing an infant baptism because it seems to be a scary thing. Although what really helped me is when I watched a... Uh, a film on PBS that talked about uh, infants and some of the amazing abilities they have and, and part of that is, is the, the reason why God has designed them so that actually when they end up nursing uh, they can be able to nurse and breathe at the same time. That goes away in time for them so when they're young enough that is preserved in them so thank God and, and my understanding in nearly 2,000 years of the Orthodox Church we've never lost a baby ever. I still always get really nervous because uh, you know, it would not be a good thing if I did any harm to baby. God have mercy on me. So this the illumination, baptism is what we, we've done to them, but we believe what happens is the Holy Spirit begins to illumine their soul, and that's why we're going to give them candles each year when they come back. Uh, the two adults will be able to hold their own candles, but the godparents will hold the candles for them. The godparents, the sponsors had a very strong role in the church. Because you have to understand in the early church, Christians were a small population. Most of the people found out about Christianity through the Christians themselves. They did not find out through the media. Very negative stuff in the media at the time. All right? They did not find out by any advertising campaigns or large big churches with signs outside that have good clever sayings, right? That's not what attracted them. There was no social media at that time to be able to do that. 
What they learned from about the Christian was the fellow Christians. And our goal and our call to evangelize and witness to the world is first and foremost personal and incarnate. It's allowing God to come upon us and change us so that we're the image of God, that we become God-like to everyone around us. So people would have a chance to say, what is that that you have that I want to have? That's what caused the church to spread. Not only that, and of course, two things. Persecution for those Christians because they were misunderstood. Those who they came out of Judaism, the, the Jews didn't care for them, so there was a lot of persecution for them. There was a lot of turning them into the Roman authorities at the time, and the Romans th thought that the Christians were atheists because they wouldn't worship the Roman gods. They wouldn't worship the emperor as the god. Whereas, of course, the Christians were very, very devout people at the time, but said there's only one god. And it, it was for them to deny Christ was the worst thing that they could do. And so that's why they refused to offer incense to idols. They refused to, to spit at the name of Jesus. They refused those things were done as tests to them in, in the early church. And we've seen that witness for Christ going on from generation to generation to generation. And so what happens is that was one of the things that some people in the early church said, the church grew on the blood of the martyrs was one of the things. But I'll tell you another thing the church grew on. The church grew on the fact that when the plagues came upon the empire at that time and family members were abandoning their own sick who were at home to go because they didn't want to get sick and die of, of the plague that was going it was the Christians who went into those neighborhoods and ministered to the people that were there, knowing full well they may get the plague and die because Christ to die is gain what do I have to I have Jesus I have the resurrection why do I have to fear anything to live is Christ to die is gain so for us, death is considered a gain. In fact, we mark death in the Orthodox Church as the actual named day or the saint's day for any of our departed ones. We have yet some who remember their birthdays or even their conception. But for most of the Christians, when they went, fell asleep in the Lord is when we honor them on that day because as we heard in the prayers of Pentecost this morning, there's something even better that awaits us. You know, and, and that's why the Lord has gone before us, and that's why the power and importance of the resurrection. So it was both through their witness and, and steadfastness in the faith and their loyalty to Christ against all that was thrown against them, but also their love and passion to their neighbors, even those who weren't Christian. It didn't matter whether they were Christian or not that they ministered to, because every human being is in the image of the living God, and that if we want to show love to God, we do it personally by showing love to the people that God puts in our path. What does Jesus say to St. Peter who's denied Christ three times? You know, he goes to St. Peter after the resurrection and says, Peter, do you love me? And, and St. Peter says, Lord, yes, you know I love you. And so what does Jesus say to him? Oh, that's okay, good, you're forgiven. He gives him something to do, feed my sheep. Okay? Our, he asked them three times to undo the three betrayals of uh, Peter. Remember, Judas only betrayed Jesus once. Peter did it three times, and Peter still could be forgiven. Anyone can be forgiven. We just can't despair and give up on ourselves and on God, because with God there's ultimate mercy and love and forgiveness. And so what happens is we're given that command, that, and this is what Jesus says, you know, because it's really... Our words can be very cheap. We can go to someone and say, I love you, I love you, I love you. But when we lay down our life for the other person, when we serve them, when we minister to them, we're, we're doing that unto Jesus. We are showing love. Okay? So I would, I would say, you know, some like Christine, you know, Jeanette, Lilliana, Gianna, uh, Huria, uh, all those, Christine, all those ha who have done that to your children, that's done unto the Lord. Okay? Okay? Gabriella, Catherine, you know, uh, Seraphima, when you do that for your spouse, your husband, you are doing it unto the Lord. So it, it means what we do with the other person. We have that mindset and understanding. Imagine how revolutionary it would be in the world if just we being changed and transformed went out. We would change and transform the world around us enough. And that's what we need. That's what we need. And it's hard. I know it's very hard because we hit, you know, we have... 
a limit to our own patience sometimes, a limit to our own strength. But once again, that's why the importance of this peace, feast of Pentecost that he gives us his power, matched with our little amount that we have, our little cooperation, but all the power that can surge through us to be able to do what we can transform the world. Okay? And I'm not going to embarrass anyone here. I'm not going to embarrass anyone. But I know that there's, you know, the reason why, for example, art is here is because of, of, of Christ's light and life being shown in some of the people that helped lead him to St. Anthony's. You know, it's same thing with, 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 with Chris. There's a lot of us who are here in the church because of that witness with one another. So realize everything we say, everything we do, it can be of eternal significance for someone else. So don't take it lightly. Any exchange that God gives you, any opportunity with any person, we don't know what it will be for their entire eternity. So we take thanks in that. Okay, I think we have our guys ready back here, and we're going to do the chrismation now. So the chrismation, the ancient times, chrism, we have a special oil. This oil has been put together with three different herbs and spices. I'm not making a plug for Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know, because I think they have, I don't know how many herbs. Eleven, okay. We've got 40, okay. We have even better than that. This is done during a whole week. Through all the prayers and the services of the Holy Week, it's boiled over that whole period of time by representatives from all the Orthodox churches. And then it's given to the hierarch of each church, then sends it to the own metropolitan, and we got this from them. I don't know what year this, this batch was made, but this was done with prayers, uh, asking the Holy Spirit to come upon it. And so this is what we're going to do now to chrismate or confirm of these newly illumined servants. So as they come forward, we're going to give them their baptismal candle, which represents their light and faith in Christ. Godparents get to hold this. For Lily, she's a little too young. Okay. Okay. Whose is this? That's ours. Okay. You guys have right behind me on the carpet. Right behind you guys. Oh, I'm gonna have you slip off your shoes. I still gotta get you. I'm so sorry to tell you that. I gotta here, hold up, hold up. So shoes and socks just keep off. Okay, all right. Right here, right here, Christopher. Put our Okay, we'll start pick up on the service on page 28. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Blessed art thou, O Lord God Almighty, the source of all good things, the Son of righteousness, who sheddest forth upon them that were in darkness the light of salvation through the epiphany of thine only begotten Son and our God, who has bestowed upon us unworthy ones blessed purification through holy baptism and divine sanctification through life creating chrism who now also has been well pleased to regenerate thy newly illumined servants by the water and the spirit, who grant us unto them forgiveness of sins, both voluntary and voluntary. Do thou therefore, Master, compassionate King, grant also unto them the seal of the gift of the Holy and Almighty and worship spirit in participation in the Holy Body and precious blood of thy Christ. Guard them in thy sanctification, confirm them in the Orthodox faith, deliver them from the evil one and from all of his machinations and preserve their souls in purity and uprightness through the saving fear of thee, that pleasing thee in every deed and word, they may become children and heirs of thy heavenly kingdom. O Lord, thou art God, the God who shows mercy and save us, and unto thee do ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And give our amen by saying, the seals will go ahead and pa pass your candle back to your sponsors. We'll start uh, Art with you first. And I'm going to have you uh, button your collar just a little bit so I can get, and then we won't, uh, but just a little bit more. There we go. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. 
the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. Seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. Seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. Hold it for now. She's okay for now. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Seal. And now as we chrismated them, we want to be able to, let's keep the, the towel open there because we don't want to, well, we'll have to wash off the towel too, but we want to be able to wipe off the chrism here. Normally we'd save this for a little late in the service. We're going to skip over to 32. Assalamu alaikum, may I peace be to all. Bow your heads unto the Lord. Be, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. O thou who through holy baptism has given to thy servants redemption of sins and has bestowed upon them a life of regeneration, do thou thyself, O Master, be well pleased always to shine forth in the hearts the illumination of thy countenance, maintain the shield of their faith secure against the enemy, preserved, undefiled, and unpolluted. The garment of incorruption which they have put on, keep them in thy grace. The spirit of thy mercies, blessed and glorifies the honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, Master of God, who through the baptism font grantest thy heavenly illumination to those who are baptized, who has regenerated thy newly illumined servants through the water and the spirit, and has bestowed upon them the forgiveness of sins, both voluntary and involuntary, lay the, thy mighty hand upon them. Guard them in the power of thy goodness. Preserve the pledge inviolate. Make work thy good pleasure. For thou art our sanctification unto thee, we scribe glory. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now endeavor into ages of ages. Amen. La paz sea con vosotros. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. And bow your heads unto the Lord. To the Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. They who put on thee, O Christ our God, bow with our heads. With us unto thee, protect them as invincible champions, and do 
and to them those who bring vain hostility to bear against both them and us, and through thine incorruptible crown proclaim us all unto victors unto the end. For thine it is to have mercy upon us and save us, unto thee we ascribe glory. Together thy beginning Father, and all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Well, we're going to, we're going to uh, do the uh, washing here for for her, then you can take her and have her put on her or put some paint. Servant God, Holy Linda Mary. God walk the women and those sanctified, our friends, that are baptized, that are chrismated, that has received holy in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Baptized, that are washed, that are cleansed, that has received holy in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. That are washed, that are baptized. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'll help her out. Okay. Send me here. Thou art baptized, thou art washed, thou art cleansed, thou received holy illumination. Your glasses off. No, you're okay. Thou art sanctified, thou art illumined, thou art baptized, thou art chrismated. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit. Amen. Thou art washed, thou art illumined, thou art baptized, thou art sanctified, thou art chrismated, thou art illumined, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thou art washed, thou art baptized, thou art sanctified, thou art illumined, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thou art washed, thou art baptized, thou art sanctified, thou art illumined, thou art chrismated, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And, okay, now you go ahead and put the rest of your, you, you fix up your clothes and your, and your uh, shoes on. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, Art, come here. Thou art washed, look up, look up. Thou art sanctified, thou art illumined, thou art baptized, thou art chrismated, thou art sanctified, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What do you, does he need to get his shoes? Thou art washed, thou art illumined, thou art sanctified. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thou art washed, thou art sanctified, thou art cleansed, thou art illumined, thou art baptized. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, so let him have his candle. She gets his glasses on. And you can you can fix up well let him fix up his, his button. You can fix up your button now and then and then put your shoes on guys. Okay, so I need for you to put in some hot water, so I can have hot water in the chalice, please. And then we're gonna do the procession, so we get ready for the, the censer, okay? What? I don't know. And then Tadek. Or, or maybe Elizabeth, I'm, you guys can find me three, three envelopes. I need three envelopes from the, back, in the, the bathroom, multi-purpose right room. Look in the, the closet so I can be able to. <coughs> oh, oh, okay. Because we have Lily, we have a surprise for you. We have a surprise for you. Christine, or uh, Annie, do the second one in the Slavonic. Okay, please, because we'll find out, I'll find out, I'll find out. Um, Peter, do me a, or Tata, do me a favor, just move those by the door, please. Thank you. Okay. Did you want to put your shoes, oh, he's still getting them? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to go get them? 
좋은 거겠죠? 네, 네. 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 오케이, on this part of the service, we'll go back to where we have the procession, which begins on page uh, 29. After we have the chrismation, this marks the point in which the person would be brought into church in order to participate in the rest of the liturgy, which includes the epistle and the gospel, which will be read, and then finally we have the communion that will take place for them afterwards. Do we know who's going to, is there anyone assigned to read the epistle? You didn't time. Do you have anyone assigned to read the epistle? Could I can have Anastasia do it. She needs all have answers. Annie, you'll do the epistle. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> because we have a little bit larger group. So um, as much as possible, we try to stay on one side as much as we can, opposite of me as much as we can. I'll take a little bit slow. And so we'll go ahead and sing along with the, the, the first and the last one, but Anastasia has something special for, for Lily here, but you can sing along with it, the Esau if you want to, okay? But listen to what Anastasia's gonna do. Just watch out for here that we don't want to trip, okay, on the on the the steps. In English. In English, and then the middle one. <laughs> as many as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ.
Chesterton. The Lord is my light and my savior, of whom then shall I be afraid? The Lord is the defender of my life, of whom then shall I be terrified? Wisdom. The reading from the epistle of St. Paul to the Romans. Let us attend. Brethren, as many of us as have been baptized into Christ have been baptized into his death. Therefore we have been buried with him through baptism into death so that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted with him in the likeness of his death, but we shall also be of his resurrection, knowing this namely that our old men have been crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be nullified, that we might no longer serve as slaves to sin. For he who hath died is cleared of sin. Now if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. As we know that Christ, having been raised from the dead, will never die again, since death no longer hath any dominion over him. For in that he hath died, he died to mortify sin once for all. But in that he liveth, he liveth to impart the life of God. So then also ye yourselves must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Peace be to thee that readest. And to thy spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Rini Pasi, peace be to all. And to thy the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. At the time, the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to this point then we're going to skip back in order to the place where we would be at uh, after the ablution when we uh, wiped off the chrism for the tonsure. And the last event that we do is before we bless their crosses for them, given to the God uh, parents to put on to them we have the practice of doing a symbolic tonsure of which uh, is a recognition that they are, have enslaved themselves voluntarily to Christ um, it's an incredible paradox, paradox that the only way we have any really true freedom is when we give up everything to our Lord. So this is what this represents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Lord and Master, our God, who has honored man with thine image and has furnished him with a rational soul and a well-suited body, so that the body might serve the rational soul. Thou hast placed the head at the highest spot in his Establish in it most of the senses so that they might interfere with one another. Thou hast crowned the head with hair so that it might not be harmed with the changes of weather. Thou hast implanted in him all of the members in a useful way that in order through all of them he might give thanks to thee, the master craftsman. Do thou, O master, <clears throat> who has commanded 
Ounce through thy chosen vessel, Paul the Apostle, to do all things for thy glory. Bless this, these thy servants who now draweth near to make the first fruit offering, namely the tauntering of their hair of their head. And bless also these their sponsors, and grant unto them to attend to thy law and perform all the things which are well pleasing unto thee. Thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. As-salamu alaykum alaykum, peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Bow your heads unto the Lord. To thee, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. God, who through the fullness of the font by thy goodness did sanctify them that believe on thee. Bless thy servants here. And let thy blessing descend upon their head as thou dost bless David the king through the prophet Samuel. Bless all of these thy servants. Lily, Linda, Mary, Christian, James, and Arthur Antipas. By the hand of me, a sinner, and visit them with thy Holy Spirit. And as they advance as an age and grow old and gray, they may ascribe glory to thee and behold the good things of your small days of life. And they will glory and worship the Father and the Holy Spirit now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Yeah, to do you guys' communion here a second. Servant of God, Lily. Oh my goodness. Servant of God, Lily. And then the Mary's chanter in the name of the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Bless your heart. I'm so ready for you. Servant of God, Christian, go ahead and pass your candle back. Heart, candle back. Servant of God. Is that for them? Give it to them. Servant of God, Christian James. His name of the Christopher James, sorry. Taunt the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Servant of God, Arthur Antipas, is tonsured in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, let's bring you guys to communion now. Okay, so just bring you guys to communion. Because, um, so I'm adding the hot water to the communion, so it will be on side. So, amen with your, with your God. Parents will be holding your candle, come in with your head, arms folded right over left, and then uh, mouth open, head tilted back. Okay, we need help with the community. Now you can get me the hot water. <clears throat> so Art, I'm gonna have you come first with your Godparents, please. Thank you. Blessed so the Lord for the Lord for the Lord the Holy Spirit. I'll help you. Help you. God, Arthur Antipas, take the pressure from the body and blood of us, which Christ, forgiveness of sins unto life everlasting. Amen.
Have mercy upon us, O God, according to the great mercy we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvations, salvation for the servants of God, the newly illumined Lily, Linda, Mary, Christopher, James, Arthur, Antipas, and for their sponsors, Subdeacon James and Jeanette Ann, William Savro Seraphim, and Subdeacon Halvard Evangelia, and all the people here present. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Without a mercy, God, and love us, mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now endeavor it unto ages of ages. Amen. That's the last final thing that we do for them. We do the dismissal and then we're going to bless their crosses. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now Amen. and ever and unto Amen. ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May he who deigned to be baptized by John in the river Jordan for our salvation didst descend, or didst descend down upon the holy disciples and apostles, tongues of the Holy Spirit, and is risen for the dead, Christ our God, through the intercession of all immaculate, all blameless Holy Mother, of our honorable, glorious prophet, Frederick and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of all holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Amen. At this time, we want to be able to bless the crosses here. And we'll give them to the godparents to be able to put on their perspective God child. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Lord, extend thy spiritual hand from heaven, with spiritual blessing from upon high upon these holy crosses, that they be potent to the body, salvation, and succor, and aid, and to all those who desire to make use of them through Jesus Christ, O Lord. This cross is blessed by the grace of the Holy Spirit, with this holy water in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This cross is blessed by the grace of the Holy Spirit, for this holy water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This cross is blessed by the grace of the Holy Spirit. This holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thy inheritance. Grant victory to all Orthodox Christians over their enemies, And by the might of thy cross, save those who put their trust in thee. God grant the newly illumined servants of God mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and my God grant them many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many Congratulations for the newly illumined, for the godparents and for the parents. God bless you and grant you many years. Thank you for being with us here at St. Anthony's. God bless you. And you guys can be able, if you'd like to have some 
Uh, pictures taken with your parents up here. You want to do that? Okay.